Hi guys, the keywords for this week really are emotions and feelings. It's going to be a very, very, very intense week. Your feelings are going to take on a life of their own. And I think this is going to be a very important forecast because by becoming aware of these very complex and complicated energies this week, you'll be able to manage them um, and make the most of them. So this horoscope is from Monday the 9th of January going through until Sunday the 15th of January and the week starts really well. So on Monday the 9th we've got the moon in Gemini which is friendly, you're feeling chatty, you're open, you're interested, you're looking at lots of different things. And that squares, so it forms this 90 degree relationship with Venus in Pisces, Neptune in Pisces and Mars in Pisces. So you're going to be very interested in your own feelings, also in your feelings towards other people. When it comes to love and romance, that's going to be very, very interesting. And you're going to feel strongly about most things. Okay, so it, the best way to use this energy on Monday is to spend time with a loved one to to uh, bring out your positive feelings for other people and to really uh, spend time in kind of an intimate setting where you can really speak openly and where you can talk about your feelings because that's what you're going to be interested in. Now Tuesday the 10th of January that heightens and it becomes too much of a good thing almost. The moon now goes into Cancer in the evening on Tuesday. Mars is still in Pisces and it sextiles Pluto and Capricorn. So what you'll notice is that you become so focused on your own feelings that you actually begin to value your own feelings more than reality. And that's a big statement. That's like you enter the land of the deluded. You know, I, I feel a certain way, but my real life doesn't reflect that and has nothing to do with the way I feel. So rather than adjust and kind of face the facts, I'm going to put a bubble around myself and go inward and just focus on my own feelings. It's denial, it's uh, living in a fantasy world, and it's really losing touch with reality a little bit. Okay, so Tuesday is a terrible day to make actual practical decisions. What you're really, what we're going through this week, and that's why I kind of prefaced the um, forecast so ominously, is that we're really taking the focus and we're going inward and we're really diving deep and it's almost like our feelings kind of are a wave that we just have to ride a little bit this week. Now the one good thing here especially at the beginning of the week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is that you can use this emotional stuff for love and romance. That's the best way to use that. Okay so if you have a partner then um, spend time with them and kind of channel all of this emotional energy into the other person. If you're single, you know, go on dates and things, you'll really enjoy that. You'll get a lot out of it, even if the date isn't ideal. But the emotions have to go somewhere. You can't just sit there this week and expect not to feel anything for everything to be okay. Your feelings are going to demand your attention. Now on Wednesday the 11th, the moon is still in Cancer. The moon in Cancer is very sensitive. It's very intuitive. It's very kind of caring. It's very nurturing and it's very, um, it doesn't allow, like loud noises, okay? It's very touchy-feely and things that are said and things that happen, you feel them. You, you, you don't have a thick skin when the moon is in Cancer, okay? So the moon is in Cancer on Wednesday the 11th. It trines Venus in Pisces, more water. Uh, Neptune in Pisces, more water. Mars in Pisces, even more. And it also opposes Pluto in Capricorn. So what we've got here is all of this water and all of this focus on the emotions. I mean, we've got four of the most important planets here that have to do with the way you feel sitting in water signs. So it's almost like you're swimming in a lake of feelings. So love and romance again are highlighted, but there may be reluctance and even uncertainty or conflict or fear when it comes to taking action now. So you feel almost um, so immersed in your own feeling world that you can't get out of it and that you can't do anything practical about it. You feel almost locked in. So there's going to be uncertainty and fear around change. Your feelings on this day, they aren't something that liberate you and say, you know, sometimes, for instance, you can become so elated and excited about something that something that was a 
a risk or an uncertainty in the past, you no longer care about the risks. You're so elated, you're just saying, okay, I'll do it, whatever. I'm just gonna do it, I feel good about it. That's not the case here. Your feelings kind of swamp you here. You're so just wading through the mud of your own feelings that it, you're gonna find it very difficult to make any changes in your life or to do anything about your feelings. So this isn't the time when you're at a bar and you see a, a man having a drink and you're like, oh my God, this is a past lives flashing through your mind. This is the person of who I'm meant to be with. And those strong feelings make you go up to him and say, hello, can I have your number? It's not like that. It's like, oh my God, these feelings. And then it's like, you just stand there. Okay, so it's not liberating. And the, that's why it's so important to find an emotional outlet this week. If you get your therapy through painting or writing or kickboxing or climbing or wrestling or whatever it is, you've got to find a way here at the beginning or having sex, you know, that's a great way to do it this week with the romance side of thing. You've got to find a way to get rid of this emotional bog because there's so much swimming around and it's almost like it's like quicksand it's too much of a good thing now all of this comes to a head on thursday the 12th of january with the full moon in cancer and me as a virgo i am worried about <laughs> i am worried about this full moon in cancer i know you don't want to hear your astrologers say that they're worried about something coming up but this full moon in cancer is going to be an emotional mess we've been feeling strong emotions here that have been dictating and demanding our attention all week the full moon is the opening and the the high point of all of that so if you're someone who doesn't like to feel their feelings sorry this isn't going to be your best week you're going to have to face reality you god forbid <laughs> you're going to have to face reality feel your feelings and, and really deal with the stuff that comes up. So on Thursday, we've got this full moon in Cancer at 11.35 in the morning. Uh, there is a separate video about this full moon in Cancer, which goes into depth about it, because this full moon in Cancer is also, it also has a cardinal grand cross in the sky, which complicates things even more, including Uranus and Jupiter, and it is really, really complicated emotionally. So Thursday, prepare yourself. Mercury also goes into Capricorn. So what's going to happen is that this full moon is going to absolutely be a, um, it's going to be a storm of emotions within you that are bubbling up. And so far this week, you felt paralyzed. You haven't been able to take action. You haven't felt certain that, okay, I feel it. I'm going to do it. You've been like, oh, you know, like that example with the man at the bar. But now with Mercury going into Capricorn, we've got a very dangerous combination on Thursday. We've got even more heightened feelings. And then Mercury in Capricorn, which also no longer is in retrograde, it's zooming ahead, it's saying, go, go, go. You're gonna have the desire to take action based on your feelings. I implore you, okay? Please, please, please do not take any actions on Thursday the 12th of January based on your feelings. It will be the wrong decision. Stop, just stop, okay? I implore you. You're gonna really feel things, things that are totally just out of the blue, over the top, melodramatic, hysterical, diva in nature. It's like, I've always hated my husband, I'm going to leave him. It's, it's really too, it's, it's, it's hysterical, this full moon. That's, that's a really good word for it. This is hysteria. In astrology, do not make any life decisions. Now, thank goodness, Friday the 13th, superstitious day. Lots of people, I, I love Friday the 13th just because of the junk they put on television. But anyway, uh, Friday the 13th, one and three is a four. And four is about security and stability anyway. And in terms of the astrology as well, Friday the 13th means a return to sanity, okay? So the full moon craziness is now dissipating and things start to settle down a little bit. Also on Friday the 13th, the moon goes into Leo. The moon quincuxes Neptune, Venus, both in Pisces, and it also quincuxes Pluto and Capricorn. So things settle down a little bit. You become more 
centered with what's really what your real feelings are what you really care about rather than this uh, crazy like emotional drama mess because the full moon was a mess now you get back to source you get back to your kind of own inner internal flame and it's like okay what is it that makes me feel content and comfortable and it becomes quiet and things kind of calm down a little bit and your brain stops going around and around and around and things you get you return to sanity okay so this is a day of you can just kind of take it easy again now saturday and you'll notice in astrology there are always trends it's like nature it either builds or it decreases so when the moon is waxing it gets bigger and then when it's waning it gets smaller same with this we've got this huge emotional wave building up all the way to the full moon on thursday and now we've got the tide kind of going out okay so saturday we've got even more rationality here we've still got the moon in leo it trines uranus and aries and it sextiles jupiter and libra and now you start to tidy up the mess that may have been made earlier in the week you become far less ruled by your emotions you start to think practically and you become imagine this you become considerate of other people and their feelings <laughs> Who could have imagined that? So you tidy up the mess that you've made in a way. You, um, If there have been a major emotional blow-ups during the full moon, which I again, I advise you against, please don't blow up during the full moon and don't end relationships and don't make huge decisions around um, the nature of who you love. You know? Like... Today's the day that I'm finally going to decide that I've had enough or don't do that. That's the kind of thing that it will push you towards. So you become considerate here on Saturday. It's a great day. Um, this is the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. A great day is not only to tidy things up, but also to now do things practically with other people to have a nice, calm, quiet, fun time to go to the pub, to have a lunch, whatever. It's really uh, things are back to normal and practical and reliable and, and predictable in a positive sense. Now, on Sunday, the 15th of January, we're, we're having more extreme things going on again now. You, um, the thing that this reminded me of, the moon goes into Virgo in the morning. And in, uh, okay, I'm ashamed. Well, am I ashamed? <clears throat> I have watched some of the Harry Potter films, even at my age. <laughs> and there's one of them where um, there's this um, professor, she takes over the school umbridge and she's this pink lady and she's very like she's part of the ministry and she's a bit of a like a magic nazi or whatever and her catchphrase is i will have order okay and that's what this reminded me of sunday the 15th of january because that's what you're going to be like you will have order you're going to have things your way and not only that you're going to speak your mind and say this is unacceptable to me <laughs> Do it differently. So, and the reason for that is the moon is now in Virgo, but not only that, it opposes Neptune and Venus in Pisces and it trines Mercury in Capricorn. So all of this week, we've had this emotional um, fiasco, okay? It's just been all over the place. And now think of Virgo and Mercury in Capricorn as the headmistress and her little assistant, her her PA and they're stepping into the scene and they're saying okay kids enough playtime we've had enough of the BS we're getting back down to work and we're not ha we're not putting up with the with the dramatics anymore we don't want to have them we don't want to hear them they're noisy they don't achieve anything and they create a lot of mess okay so on Sunday is really the best day for you to organize your life for things to go back to normal um, if things have gone poof this week you can tidy them up friday saturday and sunday um best things this week i mean the thing that gets 10 out of 10 is love and romance so if you're in a romantic relationship and you can really spend the first four days monday through to thursday with someone you truly love and just be intimate that's the best way to get through this week um and then at the end of the week here it's Go to get things organized, like January type of stuff, you know, organizing the, the schedule, uh, maybe having a business meeting, uh, sorting out your, your taxes or something, if you have any taxes due, uh, all the kind of organizational boring stuff, because you will actually want to distance yourself from the emotional stuff. 
So beginning of the week, yes, emotions rule me. And then by Friday, it's like, oh my God, I can breathe again. I'm free. I can actually do real life stuff. So you're going to enjoy that. So even if you hate uh, doing the taxes and sorting out your receipts and stuff, end of the week is really a better time to do all of that. So uh, good luck to all of us this week. Abandon all hope ye who, ye who enter here. Um, I'm exaggerating, of course, but I'm a triple earth sign. I am a sun Virgo. My rising is Taurus and my moon is Capricorn. So when I see a full moon in Cancer like this with a, a grand cross, a cardinal grand cross on top of it, blowing it all out of proportion, it makes me feel very uncomfortable because there's a, there's a potential to kind of lose control and to be swept up in something. And I don't particularly like that unless it's good. Unless it's good. So maybe give your give your significant other, it takes me back to the romance side of things, give your significant other the, the opportunity to sweep you off your feet this week or to, to really overwhelm you with emotion. I think that's the best way to make use of this and be open to something that's overwhelming in a good way. Overwhelming in a good way. Uh, lo lots of you guys watching this channel are very, very astute about astrology, uh, especially you guys, Cancers, this week. You're going to, um, I mean, be in your element. Uh, even for you, you may feel like, well, for you guys, I think y you will feel in your element and you'll be able to really um, achieve the things that you want to achieve. You're going to be comfortable with the drama. You'll be able to navigate it. The Scorpios will do pretty well as, as well. Pisces aren't going to struggle so much with this. I really think the, the, the other um, elements here that are going to find this a little bit over the top are the Earth signs in particular um, and air and, and fire also, but to a lesser extent because there's more movement going on there anyway. So, love and romance, beginning of the week, sorting out your practical stuff, admin at the end of the week, and you'll do great. So, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. If you would like a private reading with me to have a look at your chart and see what's going on there and how the transits are affecting you in 2017 and what's coming up for you in your career and money and love life, then please get in touch with me for a private reading. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please, please, please. It really helps me. And um, I will speak to you next week. What feels comfortable and Libra is about being able to create positive, harmonious relationships and building a bridge between you and other people. If you're single, you